Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. In today's video, I want to talk about the future of the 360 Buckhammer. Now, a couple months ago, I did a video about why I think new calibers tend to fail. And I talked about the uh, 30 Super Carry and the 360 Buckhammer. And I basically said that. Um, Two of the biggest problems when it comes to new calibers coming onto the market is the lack of new guns chambered in that round and the lack of gun or, or ammo manufacturers actually making ammo for that specific round. Now, um, we'll talk about the 30 Super Carry in a different video, but today I want to talk about the 360 Buckhammer. And uh, I've waited till after Shot Show and I, you know, watched several videos about new guns coming out and I've read some things about new ammo coming out and uh, I'm pretty excited about the future of the 360 Buckhammer. So first and foremost, if you don't know what the 360 Buckhammer is, it's kind of like a cross between a 3030 Winchester and a 35 Remington. So basically uh, they take the case of a 3030 Winchester and they neck it up to uh, basically a 36 caliber uh, .358 I believe and that is the same diameter of the 35 Remington but in doing that they make basically the 3030 cartridge 3030 case uh, into a straight wall cartridge for the states that require a straight wall cartridge for deer hunting and that's why you know the 350 legend is, is has become so popular and the 450 bushmaster and so the 360 buck hammer was the solution to get a good lever action round out there for uh those states because uh, like the 4570 the 444 marlin like those are all straight wall cartridges but they're too long they have like a 1.8 inch uh, case restriction on it and you know a lot of those other straight wall cartridges that do exist they're just too long basically they came up with these rules uh, these laws on you know the restrictions of, of the actual round uh, because basically there were almost no rounds that existed and then gun and ammo manufacturers came up with these new rounds like the three 50 legend, the 360 buck hammer, the 400 legend. And so that's why we have these new cartridges because people are saying <clears throat> that the 360 buck hammer and you know it's going to be dead in 5 years. It's a pointless round. Nobody asked for it, blah blah blah. Well, you know, really the 360 buck hammer is something that some people asked for because the 350 legend became popular and everybody wanted a a lever action in 350 legend. But there's a few issues with that as far as head spacing goes, so they came up with the 360 buck hammer. Um, and that's basically the solution to that. So, anyway, um, the 360 buck hammer came out last year, and like I said in my previous video, there's really only two guns that came out last year that actually fired the 360 buck hammer, and both of them were from Henry. So, Henry made um the you know like the their rifle size uh, rifle caliber size rifles um but basically in this configuration here this is a 45 colt it's the only henry i really have to show right now so um but they had you know they came out with their basically the steel model with the wood um that was one model and then the x model 360 uh, buck hammer uh, and those are really the only two guns you could get <clears throat> um, somewhere in there magnum research came out with their bfr revolver um, and you know that's basically a really big revolver that shoots like 30 30 45 70 um, they came out with that in 360 buck hammer so that's another gun uh, that you can get in 360 buck hammer i'm not sure if that came out uh, early this year or late last year. I don't really know a whole lot about that gun. But um, as far as this year, Henry announced two more guns chambered in 360 Buckhammer. One of them is their uh, single shot rifle. Um, I think it's only the, I think only in the steel model. I don't think they came out with it in the brass model. But also um, 
the their original side gate i forget what model that is but the one with the brass receiver and the the really nice checkering and the round barrel not the not the octagonal barrel but the round barrel um so <clears throat> that's four rifles from henry one revolver from magnum research and i have also seen barrels for the Thompson Contender, um, like uh, like custom barrels for the Thompson Contender in 360 Buckhammer. So um, you do have a few more options now. And there are three new brands in the lever action market. So uh, the first one being the biggest one and the one that's that's coming to the actual civilian market first is the Smith & Wesson. Uh, Smith & Wesson, um, I believe, is actually the original manufacturer that ever made any sort of a lever-action gun. It was a, a lever-action pistol in uh, 1854 uh, called the Volcanic, I think, something like that. And uh, they basically came out with a new lever-action, which is basically just a Marlin Henry clone. So basically, if you didn't know, Mar or Henry's are basically just copies of Marlin's. They, you know, they change the the bolt to be a round bolt instead of a square bolt because it's easier to manufacture the round bolt. Um, so you know, if if you have a Marlin, it's going to have the square bolt on the on the eighteen ninety four. Um, but they basically took the Marlin and the Henry design, and they made their own rifle called the 1854 because it, they're going back to their roots of the, you know, the 1854 era of their lever action, even though, you know, they call it the 1854, but it's not, it's not like a, a copy of any sort of Smith & Wesson lever action. It's just a copy of a Marlin 1894 and a, uh, a Henry Big Boy. And uh, it's got its own its own uh, features and so I mean it's not like an exact copy but it is a pretty good looking gun um, and they do have like uh, two different models they're both in 44 Magnum um, you know one of them's wood and one of them is uh, stainless steel the stainless steel one's the one I like um, because the wood one is as pretty as it is it's like three thousand dollars or maybe it's like thirty five hundred dollars I don't know it's really expensive um, not something that I would spend my money on, but the uh, stainless steel one. Now that's a good one. Now they're also talking about, you know, coming out with it in uh, 357 and 45 Colt. <clears throat> but the fact that they're coming out with a new lever action, they're a new company out there in the lever action market. Um, this, um, it, it is possible that they could make bigger rifles like this 1895 here. You know, the the larger rifle caliber rifles um, and come out with them in 360 Buckhammer. Now, it's likely that they'll come out with them in you know 30, 30, and 45, 70 because those are like the two most common lever action rounds, but the potential is there that they could come out with three, uh, 360 Buckhammer. And I'd also like to see them come out with like, you know, 444 Marlin, 35 Remington, things like that. But, um, that's the first lever action manufacturer that came out with, uh, or, or you know, came out with a new lever action that didn't previously make lever actions. Uh, the other two, I guess, are owned by the same company. So I think it was Arrow Precision and Stag Arms. So basically, they are coming out with their own version of the Marlin 1895, uh, 336, which you know, 336, 1895. Those are basically the same guns. It's just one is. A little bit more beefed up for the bigger, the bigger rifle rounds, but um, I think they're also calling it the 1895 or maybe just the 95. But Arrow Precision, um, the Arrow Precision model is going to be the tactical model, and the Stag Arms model is going to be um, the more traditional looking model. And I think it has like the the gray uh, laminate wood stock, like this one has. And I think they're coming out with those in. 4570 and 3030, but I don't think those are coming out until 2025. But it is nice to see more companies coming out with lever actions, and 
they're all copying the Marlin. I feel like a lot of companies copy the Winchester designs, which in my opinion aren't as good as the Marlin designs, but that's just an opinion. But anyway, three new gun manufacturers coming out with lever actions. Um, that's really exciting because they could eventually come out with more calibers and that just opens the door for more potential manufacturers making rifles in uh, 360 buck hammer. Also, Marlin extended their uh, 336 lineup to be, um, they came out with a 336 uh, SBL and a 336 Trapper, which are similar uh, in design to this ABL right here, except they're stainless steel and they got different sights and stuff. Um, but, you know, it's pretty similar setup to what this is. Um, so that's also exciting. And again, Marlin could eventually come out with a 360 buck hammer. I'm really hoping they come out with at least a 35 Remington like they used to have. Um, but also the 360 buck hammer and, you know, the 444 Marlin, 450 Marlin. I hope they come out with all these other rounds because they're just really good rounds in my opinion. And they deserve to have guns out there, um, uh, to shoot the ammo. Um, so anyway, those are all the new guns out there that I know of. And also, um, this has nothing to do with 360 Buckhammer, but Henry is coming out with a, oh, what do they call it? Like the Henry, oh, I don't remember what it is, but it's basically a Henry lever action that takes AR style magazines, um, and it shoots 5.56 five, and 300 blackout. Um, yeah, I forget what it's called. It it doesn't really excite me too much, but it is a new lever action out there on the market. And it seems like lever actions are just kind of taking over um, because in the past, I feel like it's always been about AR-15s and AK-47s. And that's like, that was like all there was. And it's like, there was hardly anybody coming out with new lever actions. So um, that's something I was really excited to see with SHOT Show this year. <clears throat> so the other side of the equation is the ammunition. So like I said in my previous video, there were really only two manufacturers, and I should say brands because I think they're owned by the same parent company now, but two brands that had uh, that, that came out with 360 buck hammer ammunition, and that was Remington and Federal. And they originally only came out with, um, each, each of them, uh, came out with a 180 grain and a 200 grain soft point. So for Remington, it was the Remington core locked and they had the 180 and the 200 grain. And then uh, Federal Power Shock had the 180 and 200 grain. Um, so, but they were, you know, basically those are the same rounds. It's just two different brands and they may have a little bit different powder and slightly different bullet, but essentially it's the same. <clears throat> But now I've read that there are going to be three, at least three new ammo offerings in the 360 buck hammer this year. Um, two of them are Remington and they are the Remington core locked tipped. So basically it's a different version of the core lock where instead of having a, a lead soft point, you have a, like a green polymer tip. Um, and I think they're coming out with two, uh, chamberings for the, or, or, you know, two <clears throat> offerings for the 360 buck hammer, one in 160 grain and the other in 180 grain. So that's two new ammo offerings. And the third ammo offering is the federal hammer down, and it's going to be in a 220 grain soft point, I believe. Um, and really I, that's the one I'm most excited about because uh, the reason I would like a 360 buck hammer is not because of the straight wall restrictions, but I've really been wanting a good brush gun, you know, something bigger than a 3030, you know, bigger than a you know, 30 caliber. So 3030 is basically the bottom of the brush gun category, in my opinion. It's still a good round, but it's not as good as, say, 35 Remington, 444 Marlin, 4570, 4. 50 Marlin, all those rounds. Um, but I don't want something so heavy, um, you know, so, so hard hitting like the 18, uh, you know, like the, the 4570 and the 1895 here, 
This has a lot of recoil, so I really want something between the two, um, something that's going to have a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger caliber, a little bit uh, bigger punch to go through the brush than a 3030, but something that's not quite as as um, hard hitting as the 4570. So I think. And, and I've really been wanting a 35 Remington, but it seems like the ammo and the guns are so hard to get these days, unless you're going to get used, but still the ammo is hard to get. Um, so a 35 Remington, in my opinion, was the ideal caliber, but then they came out with a 360 Buck Hammer, which is very similar to the 35 Remington um, in terms of ballistics, and they're coming out with new guns and new, um, new, new ammunition. In fact, I think if all seven types of ammunition are out, then that honestly is more ammo offerings than currently is offered with 35 Remington. I, I could be wrong on that, but I can only think of like five current ammo offerings for the 35 Remington, and I can't find them anywhere. Um, you might be able to pay pay out the nose you know, on Gunbroker for some of it, but can't find it in store and can't find it on a lot of websites either. It says out of stock, but uh, 360 Buckhammer, uh, supposedly going to have seven ammo offerings after, you know, starting this year. And um, it seems like it's a little more common and there's more gun, more new production guns available um, for 360 Buckhammer. So in my opinion, a 360 Buckhammer um, is going to beat out the 35 Remington, um, at least until Marlin or or Henry or, or or Winchester or somebody comes back out with a 35 Remington. Um, and, you know, Henry is the only company making one right now, as far as I know, and they only make one in the the brass fancy model, something I really don't want to take out into the woods. So, <clears throat> anyway, that is pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, you know, three new ammo offerings, a couple new guns coming out. Um, of course, there's still only two brands of ammo available, so I'd really like to see, uh, I'd really like to see Winchester and Hornady come out with some 360 buck hammer, and then maybe a couple other manufacturers will follow suit after that. But I mean, you don't have to have a ton of ammo options for a, a round to be successful, but more than just two brands would be nice. I mean, I mean, at least three, four, five brands of ammo would be nice to see. Um, so anyway, I'm just really excited about the 360 Buck Hammer and what the future holds for it. I'll probably do some more videos on it um, in the future, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. It's getting really long right now. Hey, before I go, I just thought I'd remind everybody that I do have a second channel called Redneck Off the Range. Over there, I post most of my non-gun related content, so whether it's a video on my new tractor, my power tools, my projects that I'm working on, maybe wild game recipes, or just a random vlog, I post all of this kind of content over on my secondary channel. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out, Redneck Off the Range. But that's all for this video, so subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.